Hi, beautiful. You look ravishing today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. We're watching some people use my best selling product, Wave Tech Wave Foam. They're going to be using this to make their curls and their waves all kinds of fabulous and gorgeous. And just seeing that people love this stuff as much as I did when I was creating it, and I still do love it, it's just so cool. And I can't wait to see your videos today and see what's going on. Let's watch some people use Wave Tech Wave Foam to do their curly hair, and let's see how it goes. Let's Let's do it. So today we're watching a combination of YouTube videos and TikToks because there's all kinds of good going on everywhere. So let's first check out this video by The Court Report and this is called Curly Girl Trying New Products X Mondo Wave Tag. For some reason, y'all curly girls make me real nervous. You do. The curl game is very serious and I don't want to f anything up. I put a lot of thought in my products and I hope uh, it lives up to your standards. I am going to try out this X Mondo Wave Tag. He uses a wide tooth comb and brushes through his curls. Everybody seems to be kind of hung up about this whole combing out your curls before kind of scrunching them. I feel like it, it detangles the hair nicely without, you know, removing that curl formation or separating everything too much. So I like to do it like that. You can totally skip that step if you want to. I think when you comb it through, the curls just come out more uniform and perfect. So a lot of people don't like that I said that in that video and that I did that. First things first is section off my hair. What he does is he takes the wave tech, puts it on his comb like this, evenly distributes it. You want to get like every piece of hair. I love that she's using the comb and sectioning her hair because some people just don't use enough. I like to make it known that you need to use a good amount of this stuff. It's meant to go all over your hair. It's gonna be kind of sudsy when you put it on. It might feel a little bit weird, but I promise it'll dry really nicely. So she's using an amazing amount of it. It's gonna work perfectly for her because she's doing it all properly. And yeah, I like to put it right on the comb and brush it through. I just feel like it's the easiest way to kind of distribute it throughout your hair and you don't have to get it all over your hands. I get so excited when you guys use my products, not just because you're like purchasing my products. It's really not it. It's just really cool creating a product for an entire year and then finally I get to see you use it and I see you guys reacting to it and that's the most nerve-wracking part because sometimes you can go wrong. You can think a product's amazing. Even me, I can think of products amazing and then you guys try it and you're like, well, you know, could have been better and I'm like, Damn it! And then we fix it. You know, it's just always a learning process and you know, we're always just trying to make the best products possible and I'm always listening to your feedback. So criticism is welcome if it's done in a kind manner. That's my speech for today. Look at her put that product on guys. That is how much you need on your head. That is it. This is how you do it. You scrunch as you go. You put all that product in. Right on those ends where they really need it. Cause when your hair gets a little dead at the ends, it's not, the curl kind of stops forming a little bit. So gotta get that product real in there, you know? Just they're forming so nicely. You can see the curls forming before your eyes. It's like magic. It's magic in a bottle, really. Right, Emma? Totally. Totally. Oh, so you don't think it's magic in a bottle? I, know, I think it's magic in a bottle. Did you see what it did to I'm my hair? I'm a genie in a bottle, Emma. It's a genie in a bottle and it rubs me the I'm a genie in a bottle. And then he said right around the face, he does some finger curls, which I think I'm gonna try. Let's try it, why not? So it's more like a wrap around the finger moment where you like take a piece and you wrap it around your finger and then you just take it off your finger. It's not an actual like finger like like that. Holy moly, that's a real big one. Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not that. <laughs> that's me in bed. Holy moly, that's a real big one. And then it comes in and I'm like, maybe not. <laughs> I didn't feel like my hair was heavy. I didn't feel like there was a ton of product even in my hair, even though I did use a lot of product. It honestly dries so nicely. It doesn't dry thick, moussey, or over conditioned or over gelled. That's the best part about foam is that it is so lightweight. So when you put it in your hair, it's going to make your hair really bouncy and full without weighing it down. Um, so that's why I chose to do a foam instead of a cream. But who knows, maybe there'll be a cream at some point. I'm just gonna let it completely air dry. I'm not doing anything else to my hair. I love that she's not using any heat and she's just letting it air dry. This will really show the power of wave tech. It's almost fully dried except right back here. I wanted to show you what my results are. Oh my God. <laughs> it burns my eyes. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm crying. You can see that it looks just like fluffy curls. All just straight that wave tech and a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Brad Mondo just crying over his own product working for 10 minutes straight. This stuff is super great if you A, don't have super curly hair or you just have wavy hair. When I watched his YouTube video, he was saying he just wants you to love your natural hair. And so this is basically my natural hair all air dried. 
This is so true though. I do just want you to love your natural hair, you guys. You don't have to like blow it out and straighten it every day. You can use a product and make it look good naturally and let it air dry. Just use the right products, right, Emma? Totally. Use the right products. Use the right products. And your hair will turn out sensational without blow drying it or doing any heat styling if that's not your thing. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I can relate. It's not my thing either. So <laughs> use the right products. I am very, very impressed with how it turned out. I really like it. This product might be a winner. I'm just so happy that you love it because you seem like you would tell me the truth. Like you're giving me those vibes where you would just be like this Socks. Like, I feel like you would just straight up tell me that. I'm glad I could win you over with this one and hopefully you become a loyal Wave Tech fan. Thanks for that video. Your hair looks gorgeous. Now on to Tech Tech. The witch is dead. Up first, we have a video by Honey KK and this is me living my extra life. I have already seen this one, but I just wanted to, you know, show you again. Oh, okay. So she's using all X Mondo products here and she whips out Wave Tech. She's putting plenty of it in her hands and scrunching it through and using BDS. BDSM. BDSM for waving curly hair. Mm. Oh, it just adds that perfect amount of definition. And think of it like an oil, but like a really thick oil. It adds a ton of hydration, a ton of shine, and clumps those curls just the right amount. If you have a little dry ends, put that in there. It'll make the curls look so freaking cute. Oh, why are her curls so pretty? It gets me every time. Like it just, oh, ah! Oh my God, we're putting Salty in and Viper. Girl, you can't do this to me and not expect me to react like that. That was gorgeous. I'm so glad you love Wave Tech. I've noticed that you've used it um, several times after that. So thank you for your support on the product and all of my products. And you look real good. First time I saw her hair, I was like, <laughs> God damn. So this next girl is Sadie Blue. She's using a wide tooth comb and she is combing the product through. Again, you guys are always scared about the combing thing, but I, I love it. And when you're using a wide tooth comb, it actually helps clump the curls better. But she's putting plenty of it in and it's looking good already. Oh, and she's using Salty. Oh, wow, her curls are literally perfect. They're so defined and beautiful and shiny. Ooh. Wow. She says Wave Tech's her new favorite product. Thank you. Gorgeous. I love your waves. I love the way you put it in your hair and you did a great job. I've also seen this one before. Um, this one's by Mackenzie Gournay and just get ready for this. So she's using Salty and Wave Tech in her wide tooth comb. I mean, she just has wonderfully gorgeous hair. She's using a ton of it and combing it all through. Mm. <laughs> so we're doing the scrunch. Oh my god, Mackenzie. Oh, Mackenzie. <laughs> when she does that part where she puts it on one side, I die every time. Like, what the hell? Oh my god, Mackenzie, I love you. Thank you so much for posting that and loving the product so much. Um, makes me very happy. The next TikTok is by Megan Nanny. And this says, I had to try it, no complaints here. She's using Wave Tech and Hydromania. Also a great combination. Get that extra hydration in there if your hair's really dry. And she is spraying the Hydromania in first. Great idea. And then we're putting the Wave Tech in. We're using the wide tooth comb. I'm just now realizing that every single one of you pretty much have been using the wide tooth comb method and not using your hand. I don't know why it makes me so happy that you guys are, you know, you, you really listen. And I appreciate that. Oh, those curls are starting to form right before her eyes. It's like magic. <gasps> it looks so pretty. Oh, yo, what? It looks like she literally used a curling iron. <laughs> wow, that's really pretty. Maybe I should start using Hydromania with Wave Tech more. I mean, that was gorgeous. Okay, enough of TikTok. Let's get back to YouTube and check out one last video. This is Hair by Frankie, and this is called How to Use X Mondo Wave Tech. Today's video is a tutorial of how to use the X Mondo Wave Tech Wave Foam, and you're gonna use quite a bit of products because you want to make sure that every hair is coated. So don't feel scared by the amount that you're putting in. I'm probably gonna go through and do at least three or four pumps, if not more of this. Exactly. Do not be afraid of the product. You will see that you can put a lot of this in and it's still gonna be totally fine and your hair's not gonna feel weighed down or like it has a ton of product in it. So she's great advice. So what I like to do here, because I've got sort of these growing out bangs, is I'll just make sure that there's a bit of product in those front bits and then I'm just gonna put a couple of twists in just to make sure that those sort of sit where I want them to. The rest of the curls on the head can do whatever they want, but these ones need to 
actually to be a little bit more structured. So I'm just gonna twist those bits. In my opinion, it's a lot better if you take the hair like a curling iron and twist it around like I said before. Trying that might might also add to the definition of your waves and curls. Um, and so maybe give it a try. Emma, somebody said, I feel like you're a lot more sad in real life than you are in your videos. And you're like, I am. And I go, you're right. <laughs> and then you're like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm really happy. I said false. I'm consistently sad. And then you wrote, just kidding. I'm actually happy. I am happy. Chris, you better keep some funny parts of me in it too because people love me. Cut it out. That's not true. I make it much funnier. I actually really enjoy my comments because I feel like it adds a little zzzz to it, you know? When you think your hair is sort of like all the product is evenly distributed and you've scrunched it enough so that you can sort of see a curl pattern, that's when you're going to want to start diffuse drying it. If you went in with a hairdryer now, you'd probably have a bit more definition because the foam would be doing something. It would be a little bit frizzier. I always feel like the best way of drying your hair is, you know, without heat. That's because when you start putting that blow dryer on with the diffuser, you always get frizz. Like there's air blowing in your hair at all different directions. So you're going to get frizz inevitably. If you air dry your hair it's not gonna be nearly as frizzy. I'm gonna have my diffused dryer on a medium heat and I'm gonna have it on a medium blow so I don't want it too intense with the heat and I definitely don't want it too intense with the blow because that's just gonna blow a load of frizz into my hair and we don't want that so. So you heard her guys keep the air low the heat low that way you don't start getting frizz everywhere. What I'm doing with the diffuser is putting it at the ends of my hair pushing it up towards the root so this is going to make sure that we've got a lot of volume at the root because we've got our head tilted over but it's also going to make sure that the curls are really sort of springy and bouncy because it's pushing those curls to the root as well listen i don't think she's wrong at all i think this is probably one of the best ways of getting a lot of volume however i don't like to put the head upside down and do the diffuser because it pushes all the hair up and you're gonna get a lot of frizz going on with that i like to just lift the hair and diffuse from the side and do it that way that works better for me however if this works for her then so be it Keep doing it. Okay, so I've just diffuse dried my hair. Oh, it's looking so fierce. <gasps> Ooh. My fringe has gone wild as per usual, but I quite like it, it's cute. But I would definitely recommend the Wave Tech Wave Foam for wavy and curly hair. It's got a really nice finish to it. It doesn't feel sticky or crispy at all. And if you do have areas that are slightly crispy, then you can just scrunch out the crunch. She loves it, she looks great. And I love her natural wave. I love the fringe, it looks beautiful. Great job and thank you for that review. Thank you so much, Frankie. Thanks, homie. So that was awesome to watch. I love when you guys use my products and it works for you. It makes me really happy. Thank you for making that content and thank you for telling people about the products that you love. Even if it's not my product, I love just watching your reviews and you guys talk about products. So please keep coming. So my gift for me to you today is 10% off Wave Tech. Ah! from now until February 27th. So if you would like 10% off, use the code WAVE10 at checkout. The link to the website to shop Wave Tech is right down below and Wave Tech is actually linked as well. So go for it, get your hands on it now while you can with 10% off. And if you guys wanna sign up to be notified when my hair color is restocked, cause it is all sold out right now, you can also click the link below and check out X Mondo Color. You can check us out on Instagram at X Mondo Color. You can also check out the rest of our hair care line at X Mondo Hair or on Instagram at X Mondo hair. Make sure you guys subscribe to me right down below. Click the bell icon and the like button. If you enjoyed the video today, I would very much appreciate it. If you guys want to check out my merch, here it all is. It's my Live Your Extra Life merch and it is brand new and you guys have been loving it. So thank you so much. If you guys would like to shop the merch, you can also shop it at xmondohair.com, link below. If you guys want to follow me everywhere else, here are all my social media handles all around me. Go for it. Have fun. <laughs> Make sure to text me at this number right here. Yes, it is really my number. Yes, I really do see all your text messages and yes I'll be replying to a few of you if you text me right now. You'll also be notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Tay and she says hi Brad I have had purple hair for almost three years decided to go back to my natural went to a salon and they did color remover and tried all the dye job they could. I have a lot of hair and they ran out of color remover I'm extremely green. What do I do? I don't want to spend another $250. I don't blame you that sounds awful and really sad that they um, ran out of color remover. That's scary. There's only so much that I can recommend for you with only just seeing pictures. Based on what you're showing me, I think you need to do a bleach bath, which is 
powder lightener, 20 volume, water, and shampoo mixed together into like a nice creamy consistency. And you put on your damp hair, leave it on there for like 15 minutes or so and see what happens. It should remove some of that green. And then once that green is removed, do a nice toner over it. I don't know what, what level you're going for, but maybe like an eight or a nine would look perfect for you. So I hope that helps you. But again, I can only recommend so much stuff without actually seeing your hair in person and doing it myself. Good luck and I hope that works out for you. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.